Hi guys, how's it going? So I'm back with another reaction to the latest Tokyo Ghoul Raid chapter. We have chapter 113 and the title is called I Am. Now, before I actually started this recording, I saw the title and it kind of made me think, I'm like, I think we already had a title similar to this. I thought we had another title that had am in it. So I actually went back and looked at the late, like the late uh, Tokyo Ghoul Raid chapters and actually 95 had the title of am. So I was kind of close. It's not the same title, but it's very similar. And uh, this week has just been, you know, kind of like going back and forth. I actually spent some time drawing occasionally this week and I actually decided to draw um, some Tokyo Ghoul and I actually drew Toka and I figured you guys would enjoy this drawing as well. So I actually did this drawing over the course of the week. I drew, drew some Toka and if you guys want to check out any other drawings, I've, do, I've done a lot of Tokyo Ghoul Re and Tokyo Ghoul drawings here and there and they're on my Instagram. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can check it out. I'll leave the link in the description and the link is also on my channel. So feel free to check that out guys. So, but uh, I'm just really excited to get into this because the thumbnail of this chapter is is uh, Nico and I'm just really excited to see where this goes because I think we got the end of Ure and Psycho. So I'm not sure if we're going to get them this chapter, but I want to see Kaneki or Amon or at least have Juju with um, Uta and that, that's probably where Nico comes in so and maybe Donato will show up I have no idea and Furuta most likely will have a panel in this chapter so I just want to get right into this Tokyo Ghoul Re, chapter 113 I am all right okay first page what do we have here it's starting off with Nico so we have some people getting impaled looks like a giant bone or something so they're all like making noises from all sides, the clown masks. Hufu. Clowns. Damn. Oh, God. Uh, Nico's Kagane is in the shape of hearts. That's that, that actually makes a lot of sense. That's actually a cool design, honestly, for, for the Kagane. So, Donato has the crosses. Nico has heart-shaped Kagane that just goes around. It almost looks like bones in a way. All right, next page. Page three. They're so strong, and why? Do I have this feeling I know them? Huh? Okay, so here's uh, Furuta. End quickly, please. 113, I am. A lot of either dead people or investigators and ghouls. Okay, uh, they're, they're exhausted, damn. Huh, huh. There's no way, there's no and here's Ui. Ui, my boy. How are they going to deal with this? Are these people? So they're starting to realize, too, that most of the clowns are most likely humans. If the truth about this spreads, it will greatly damage the morale of the investigators of tomorrow. This is really going to make it hard to fight. That actually makes a lot of sense, too, because if you have investigators going and killing innocent people and they can't distinguish, you know, humans from ghouls, it makes people enlisting in the CCG, like in the future, like he says, a lot harder because they're going to be like, well, you guys don't really have a strong moral code when it comes to killing ghouls because you guys just kill anything in your path. So I understand where he's coming from with that. This is just ghoul disposal, right? Our opening gambit. The CCG, it was destroyed. All right, so we're back with Juzo and Utsa. They're on the bridge, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Page. Oh man, look at them go in. Sway, sway. Uta's not even putting up a fight, really. I have all of a sudden become unable to hit him at all. I guess he was just letting me hit him earlier. Shit, he just took out his, um, he just, his scythe, uh, Jason. Oh shit, he's doing the legs, he's doing his leg. Oh my god, ping, I can't wait to turn the page. Here we go. Wait, you just need him? Oh, and now, now, okay, so he need him in the face, and now his uh, hidden blades are coming out. That's such, I love the fact that he has that. Whoa! He is very spider-like with his Kagane, just the way he landed on it. Wow, Uta's, Uta's crazy. Yes, he, he is definitely a spider. Just look at the way that he's, like, crawling on his back, and he's about to go underneath the, uh, the bridge. Oh shit, Mutsuki, I'll go. Toru. Make sure to not chase him too far. Okay, I guess I'm pretty similar to Mr. Shinohara. Oh, that brings back good memories from part one. Wow, we're all over the place this chapter. So we have, we're now back with Kaneki and Amon. 
So he's like screaming, it looks like. That's an, oh, that's a cool flashback right there. This world is wrong. He, oh man, we're getting all the flashbacks. I like this a lot. I guess you're just a ghoul, huh? Of all the investigators I fought before, I became Heisei. My name is, he is the only one who actually acknowledged me. Oh man, this is cool. He sought conversation with me, not as a ghoul, but as a person. Oh man, this, I love this story panel right here, where it just starts from part one, then the end of part one, and then when they met up again. This is, this brings back so many good memories to part one. Because th these two characters are so interlocked with their stories. I'm glad we're getting them, you know, confronting each other once again. Because if this didn't happen, I feel like that would have been like a huge plot point, or at least a story point that would just gone unended. And I'm really glad that uh, Ishida just basically brought Amon back into the story. And now we have, actually have Kaneki and Amon facing each other once again. Come on. There we go. All right. And now I am going to rob him of a chance to con converse. So they're about to battle, huh? What is this facility? Why is the CCG keeping this man hostage? Experimental subject? Guinea pig? But he, he is a ghoul investigator. Is that, a, is that Ayato right there? Or you, it's okay. So someone's going in. So is that Kaneki jumping in against Amon? Yep, okay, so here comes the... This is what, round three right now between these two? It's no use. I can't get through. Damn. I feel like now that amon has been a part of CCG, I think they've probably um, perfected him and he's no longer considered a floppy. That's like a theory I've been having since the CCG was using RC suppressants and with Rize clones in a way, they might have just taken his failed experiment nature and probably just perfected him into becoming a an actual half ghoul. Kaneki. There's no need to fight him. Look, we have the suppressor drug. That's what we came here for, right? We're not here to butt heads. That's not gonna be that easy. I think Kaneki's gonna be wanting to save Almon. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's going full Kakuja mode right now. Oh. Uh. But I can't just ignore him. Exactly. Kaneki's gonna save him. And then we're gonna have him join Goat. Tss. You half-assed idiot. There are still things you have left to do. Things that only you can do. Sukiyama and those investigators, those guys from Cochlea, and even Naki and this and his men, they're all giving it their all. And back in the base, Banjo and, I hate to admit it, but even I've ended up having to rely on you. There are countless schools out there that have no choice but to rely on you. And all of them, for your sake, they're all holding on because they have you to rely on. He, he's the one that defeated Arima. And he's the one thing that gives all the ghouls hope for coming to at least a, either a truce or some kind of understanding between humans and ghouls. He's like the only ray of hope that they have. Okay. Even my sister is waiting for you. Oh, I'm so glad I drew Toka this week. Oh man, I really hope because I know that last oh, a couple chapters left uh, we had that little thing with Toka saying like once you come back we need to talk and I really want to know what that conversation is after this arc ends because I really want to know because they've been separated for so long I really want to see Toka and Kaneki actually sit down and actually have a conversation and not hit each other for once. And you're ready to throw it all away for your emotions. If that's true, then you really are a half-assed bastard. Letting go is another one of your duties. And yeah, other things might be important, but you've got to choose. Who's he going to choose? I, think, I feel like he's going to choose all, like, to save him. That doesn't fall to us. The responsibility of choosing. Oh, are they about to go in? It must be an honor to fight with the investigator you respect so much. In the academy, I learned that an investigator should lay down his life for his superior. What are we going to do if the boss of the organization dies too early on? 
We'll knock some sense into Almon and take him home with us. I promise I'll, I'm the king of the sheep, after all. <laughs> you just go home and give that stinky ass liquid to Mato. So they're giving it to Kaneki. Oh my god, these panels going back to part one are so nostalgic. Almon. So they are leaving. Now then, Almon, all of us, as half-done rejects, should get along, shouldn't we? Oh man, look at this panel. I just gotta look at this panel of Takizawa and Kuro. Oh man. Her new outfit is badass, by the way. I like this a lot. This is really cool. Next page. Oh shit. Back with Uta and, and Mutsuki. How is this how is this gonna end? I'm really I can't wait for the cliffhanger that this year is gonna let us leave us on. So alright, Mutsuki's chasing Uta. She's caught up to him and she's gonna stab him. She's stabbing him like the hell out of him. She's is she, is she laughing? Or is is Uta laughing? I'm most likely it's Mutsuki. Alright, Mutsuki drowns in his own power, and to him, Uta's face appears as his former Oh shit, who, who is she doing it? Ha. Huh. That hurt. Oh my god, Muta. Oh, Uta, you savage. Uta, you fucking savage. He used Heise. He used Heise's face. That's so cool that Uta can do that. Alright, what does this say? Ta uh, to end of 113 Tokyo Ghoul Re. Next issue. CCC. CCG back into a corner. Damn, Uta. Damn. Oh, whoa, if, actually, if you look at um, Mutsuki's eye in this top panel in the middle right here, her, her like, iris and stuff looks like the shape of a heart. That's, that's a cool, actually, like, little design in there, knowing that she's looking at the face of her former leader and, and friend, too. So, wow, we actually had a lot in this chapter. We had Nico destroying the investigators with her, with his, or her, N Nico's heart-shaped Kagane. I never know if, if Nico's a he or a her, just, you know, by the way that Nico carries, um, his slash her persona. And then we had, you know, Toru ch chasing Uta. We have this at the end of the chapter, and then we just have, uh, <laughs> Furuta, uh, telling all of the clowns to hurry this up, so that way they can just move on with the next phase. And then, you know, Kaneki not confronting Amon and just having a full-out floppy brawl between uh, Corona, Takizawa, and Almon. Oh man, this is uh, this is a nice chapter. It leaves us on a lot. I mean, I don't say like a lot happened this chapter, but the cliffhanger that it leaves us on with Mutsuki now staring at the face of Haize on Uta, and I don't think Mutsuki's gonna be able to do anything. This is gonna be similar to what Juzo had to go through when he looked at uh, Shinohara's face on Uta. Unless Mutsuki's just too far gone and doesn't even care anymore. But this was a really good chapter. I really liked it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my live reaction to Tokyo Ghoul Re. I'm also doing a live reaction series to Boku no Hero Academia on my channel. I'm up to chapter six right now. So if you guys are into that series as well, definitely check it out. Go check out my live reactions. I'm doing a catch up, at least trying to get to the where, where season one of that series ended. And then, you know, season two is coming out really, really soon of Boku no Hero Academia. So if you guys are a fan of that as well, check it out on my channel. And I've also done past live reactions to Tokyo Ghoul Re as well. So if you guys definitely like my live reactions definitely leave a like and let me know in the comments down below about what you liked in this chapter what do you think about this ending cliffhanger that we have with Mutsuki staring at Sasaki's face uh, let me know in the comments and if you guys are fans of Tokyo Ghoul subscribe to my channel leave comments down below and let's get a conversation started about where we think this rest of this arc is going to be headed and where we think that you know since Toka was brought up this chapter where do you think or what do you think that Toka and Kaneki are going to talk about once we have that you know rekindling them to coming together and actually sitting down and having a conversation between Toka and Kaneki. So leave comments down there below. Um, I really like this chapter. I can't wait 
for next week's chapter. That's going to be really fun, and I really can't wait because Volume 11 of Tokyo Ghoul is coming out this upcoming week, so I really can't wait to get that. I'll probably do a video on either the volumes that I currently have, just get a conversation started on Tokyo Ghoul in general because I want to add more Tokyo Ghoul content to my channel because I love this series, and I feel like I want to talk about it more because it's just so awesome. So that's the end of this reaction, guys. Uh, again, leave comments down below, and until my next live reaction or any other content you enjoy watching on my channel, I'll talk with you guys then. All right, guys. See you later.